Hey, I'm Dakota with the Arclight Dynamics tech team, and today I'm going to show you how to use the router on the Arclight CNC control system. I'm going to first start by going into SheetCam. And once I'm in SheetCam, I'm going to go to File, New Part, and I'm going to bring in a new part. Once I've got my part loaded in here, I'm going to do both a pocket and a contour operation for this. And because I'm going to be doing two operations, I'm going to need two layers for this. So I'm going to go to Mode, Edit Contours, right click on my exterior edge, and move that to a new layer. I'm just going to call that layer Outside. Now that I've got my layers set up for this, I can start setting up my operations. I'm going to go to Operation, in the order I'm going to do it, pocket first. I'm going to be working with a zigzag pocket. That's going to move the router bit back and forth, uh, filling up that pocket. And I'm going to set the layer as layer one. The tool I have selected as the quarter inch bit that I have on here today. And if I need to modify this bit, I can click on this box with three dots to the right of that. And I can go in here and set up the settings for this bit, whether that's the diameter, the flute length, tool length offset, which should always be zero, depth per pass, and our feed rate in here. After we're set up with the tool, we can set up our start depth, cut depth, depth per pass, step over, fill angle, finish allowance, feed rate, plunge rate, ramp angle, and spindle speed will be determined by the router itself. So I'm going to set this as running a eighth of an inch pocket, doing a single depth pass at 30 inches per minute. That will set up the inside of this job. Now I need to set up the outside, doing our contour operation. So I'm going to go to Operation, Contour. Layer, I need to select that outside now. We're going to be running an outside offset to keep our part proportional. We're going to be using the same bit and our start depth will be zero. Total cut depth will be through the material all the way. So since I'm working with half inch material, I'm going to be setting this as 600 thou. Depth per pass, I'm gonna continue doing my eighth inch at 30 inches per minute. And that'll set up our operation on there. If I'm wanting to get a three dimensional view on this, I can click on the scroll wheel and hold down. And I can see the three dimensional path I've set on this. I can double click back on the screen and I can actually see my part again. Now I need to make sure I have the right post processor and job settings in here too. So I'm gonna to go to options and job options I'll make sure that my sheet size is based off what I'm running on the table. Material thickness needs to be thicker than whatever I'm using just to make sure it doesn't give any errors. Rapid clearance will still be the same. Height above bottom of material, I like to run as one inch just to make sure I don't get any more errors. And plunge safety clearance will leave the same. Then I'll go change my post processor by going to options and machine, going to the post processor tab and making sure I have the Arclight router post selected. From here I can hit OK and we can post process this file. So we'll go to File, Run Post Processor. After we have this saved, we can go into our CNC router program. From here we'll need to connect the controller and we'll need to home the table. After we've homed the table, we're gonna set up where we wanna make this operation. So since we were working from the bottom left-hand corner in SheetCam, we're also going to set our bit at the bottom left-hand corner of where we wanna route our project. So I'm gonna hold Shift on the keyboard and use the arrow key to move the bit in place. On the screen, I'm gonna turn off Use Probe and I'm gonna use Page Down to lower the bit until it's just touching the material. Okay. 
After I've got that just touching the material, I can hit set start and zero Z by hitting set Z zero. It'll ask for a manual tool change, enter height of tool tip for reference point. We're just gonna leave that at zero. From here, we can go to our file and bring in our project. And now that we're ready, we can go ahead and run this operation. This is where we'll hit play and we'll turn on our dust collection system and start the job. Thanks for watching our ArcLight router tutorial. And if you have further questions, please reach out to the tech support team.